As you look at the skyline of the Port of Long Beach, one thing you can't miss is the frame of a large gantry crane. These cranes are the mechanical workhorses that lift the cargo on and off the ships. The cranes operate so smoothly on most days, it almost seems like they run on autopilot. However, inside each crane cab, there is a highly skilled operator managing the controls. Meet Mike Mitre, a Long Beach resident and a 32-year veteran of the Long Beach waterfront. I love my job. I became a crane operator about 10 years ago. It, uh, it's probably it's the best job I know. I, I love this job and uh, being a crane driver, it allows you time for yourself. At the same time, it gives you a great deal of satisfaction with the job you do. I look forward to going to work. Mike's work usually begins at 7 a.m. That's when he meets with the other operators and they discuss the work plan for the day. Mike is a steady, that means a regular operator at California United Terminals, the home of Hyundai's container ships. His experience has taught him that knowing the facility and the mechanical capability of the crane he's operating is critical. From 128 feet in the air, there is very little margin for error. I think we're really fortunate. We have ILW mechanics down here that are some of the best in any industry I've ever seen. Uh, they keep our equipment really well serviced. These guys are great mechanics. And uh, as a crane operator, I really come to appreciate these guys because uh, I depend on that machine and I depend on it running properly. Using two high-tech joysticks, Mike maneuvers pins that hook onto the four corners of the large metal cargo boxes known as containers. During a regular eight-hour shift, Mike will move anywhere from 220 to 300 containers. His personal record is 330 in a single day. In order to keep up with a fast-paced schedule, the best crane operators need to complete a container move from a truck chassis on the dock to the ship's deck every two minutes, or about 30 moves an hour. In spite of the speed of the operation, safety is never compromised. We're faced with kind of a, a, of a comfortable dilemma here in that you want to put a premium on production and moving as many cans as possible while at the same time being as safe as possible. And when you get down around the can or into the cell guide, you know, slow down a little bit, take your time, and in the long run, it's going to make up time. So what are the qualifications for a crane operator? What makes these especially talented and highly skilled people so good at their jobs? One of the most important things down here when you're a crane operator uh, is your hand-eye coordination with a blend of being confident in what you do because you have to be an aggressive driver up there. You can't be hesitant, you can't be timid, and you can't be intimidated by the machine. And believe me, when you first get up there to drive a crane, it's, it's very intimidating. And it's a sweaty palms type of a job for the first six months or year that you do it. But once you get through that and you become a good crane driver, uh, it really, like, it goes back to your sense of accomplishment because there's not a lot of guys that do what you do. But life is not all about the job for Mike Mitri. He's also an avid outdoor sportsman. He loves to surf. Snow skiing is another hobby. At home, his wife and kids also keep him busy. Whether it's surfing a Southern California beach or planning a longer distance trip, you can bet Mike's always got something to keep him occupied. Uh, my number one passion is surfing in the beach uh, for the whole Mitri family, my brothers included. Uh, we learned from my dad, he was a surfer. And uh, being introduced to the beach at a young age was a great thing. Uh, I loved to snow ski, another one of the things that my dad taught us when I was really young. And probably more than anything else, I appreciate having the job I do because it affords me a great amount of time to pursue my private life and especially being with my family. The Mitri kids share their dad's passion for living. My family being competitive, we always like to compete with each other in sports. And whether like we're at the beach or we're playing a sport, we always are competitive, but we're always having fun. Mike's son, Sean, is following in his dad's footsteps. Sean, who is 19 years old, has just become a casual longshoreman. Casual in this case is a technical term, which means part-time. His future is likely to be at the Port of Long Beach for many years to come. I'd really like to get my registration in, get my Class B and my Class A. Someday even be a crane driver or top handler, something like that, where I can just have some more responsibility and maybe follow in my dad's footsteps. One day probably be a president of the union, who knows. Mike's wife Martha is also happy to see her son following his dad's career path. I'm really proud that Sean wants to be a longshoreman. He's a casual right now. Um, eventually he could be a crane operator like his dad. Um, 
my husband being a crane operator, he's really good at his job and um, it's really provided a good life for us. I'm also glad that it's, uh, it's a local job. It's here in the harbor, here in Long Beach, and um, the commute is short. So that's, that's a plus. Mike is also active in representing the union's perspective on the issues of safety and security at the Port of Long Beach. He's testified before Congress in committees on safety and technology. This frontline workforce concept uh, is, is a thing that affects the whole community. The majority of this, of the workers down here live within a half mile to five miles of the waterfront. Uh, I live in Long Beach uh, and, I, and I'm very cognizant of the fact that my family is right here and they're close and, and really the families of all my co-workers. Uh, what we do down here by being vigilant is we end up protecting not just ourselves and the port but, we're, but it's going to affect the whole community. The next time you see a crane operating at the port of Long Beach, it will probably have someone like Mike Mitri at the controls, a skilled professional working hard on the job, supporting a family and making a contribution to the community.